Now, since this is the driver's hub, you might be thinking this is some sort of a crazy state 3 530D or something of that sort. But let me tell you this, this is a tad bit more special than a 530D. This over here is a BMW 535i, apparently only one out of three in the country which had been imported for embassies in India. And today, we're going to be covering this unicorn over here. This is basically what makes this BMW 535i such a special car. This here is BMW's N55 engine, 3 litre turbo straight 6, a better, more improved version of the outgoing N54 engine that it replaced. The N55 works upon the N54's flaws and irons them out. The N55 ditches the N54's twin turbo setup for a more reliable single turbo setup and this engine was found in the first generation BMW M2 pre-facelift as well. When it comes to the rarity factor, we have not been able to fully find out how many F10 535i's are there in India. As far as we know, there are roughly around 4, but many people have been telling us that there are roughly 9 to 10 of these cars spread out across India. Also, the current BHP output of the car with charge pipes and a stage 1 remap from GDT is roughly 350 to 360 horsepower. At some level, you can say this is kind of like a predecessor to the 40i models that we get today. Just like the 340i with the B58, this is a turbocharged 3 litre inline 6 and it was basically the car that you could buy before you got the proper M product. Now this particular car isn't running that many mods, the owner likes to drive it stock fairly and it's a nice little cruiser around for these Delhi roads, so it's running charge pipes and a tune from GTT. Now it should be scratching the surface of 400 horsepower and that sounds quite a lot of fun because it's rear wheel drive. Now, if you're a car guy, I'm pretty sure you can make out a VRS on the road. I mean, it's all in the little details. You have these dual tip exhausts at the rear, the spoiler, the front bumper, and just the way it sits on the road. You can definitely make out a VRS if you're a car guy. But you will take some time to figure out that this thing over here is a 535i because honestly, there's not a lot of things to differentiate it from a normal 530D, 520D or whatever with the M Sport kit. Of course, you get aggressive M Sport bumpers all around, but this bumper has a little vent over here. Go to the rear, you have some dual tip exhaust and that's pretty much it. Those are the only two giveaways apart from the badge to make out that this is a 535i with an N54 engine. Now, this particular car is running some really tasteful mods. You got some really nice looking wheels on the car and you have a CF uh, boot lip spoiler, but apart from that, looks pretty much stock. Again, pretty much in the interior, there's nothing really to differentiate that this is a 535i instead of any other variant in the lineup. I mean, you have a little bit of a difference. Of course, you get the M Sport style steering wheel and it has this Alcantara finish uh, on top with the M stitching, but I'm not sure if that's stock or if that's been done later on. And one more difference is there that soft closing doors but apart from that it's pretty standard BMW stuff on the inside nothing to tell you that this is a car with a bigger engine or with two turbos so how about we start it up and see how it drives So the 535i, when it came to India for the embassies and all, well, it wasn't really considered as a performance car. So most of its life that has been with the embassies, well, it has been used like a luxury car. I mean, you just drive it around slowly, make sure that your passenger is in comfort. But ever since Vidit, who organizes launch control, has gotten his hands on the car, he's put in charge pipes and a tune from GTT, like I said, put it into manual, flicked down the gears a couple of times, and it shifts and the torque is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure once you're at 10 tenths with this car, it's going to be super fun because long wheelbase, super stable in the high speeds, rear wheel drive, BMW's chassis, yeah, should be like a lot of fun. 
as far as I can tell, this thing loves to scoot. Of course, in the corners, it's not the most communicative because it's a big, big luxury car and the suspension is not tuned for performance or handling or anything of that sort. So it has quite a lot of body roll. And again, the owner of this car hasn't really made this as a performance car. He uses it as a daily, I'm guessing. In general, this is a very special car and I hope to see someone do up a 535i properly in India with like a single turbo, some mad stuff done to it, 700 horsepower because that's what this thing is capable of. This thing comes with the 8-speed ZF gearbox, automatic torque converter and not the most communicative gearbox out there but it does the job pretty well. <laughs> this thing has a lot of power, a lot of power. It's a very, very different driving experience. I wish BMW would have bought more of these into India, especially in 335i trim because shorter wheelbase, same amount of power as this car and, and that would have been quite a lot of fun. Now, would I recommend someone to buy this car? Well, first step is to find one because there are only three in India. And second thing is you need to have a bucket load of cash on the side to make sure that this thing runs properly all of the time. I'm guessing that this is a CBU unit. So all of these parts for the car, well, they must be imported and those will cost a fortune. So if you have the money, of course, 100% you should go for this car because this is something really special, something that you don't get to see in India and I hope someone gets their hands on it and does some mad stuff to it. A big thank you to Vidit from Launch Control for lending us his beauty. This is truly a unicorn in the Indian car landscape at the moment. And I think so the launch control video is going to come out or has already come out, I'm not too sure. But regardless, shout out to Launch Control, shout out to Vidit. Shout out to GT Tuners and Upshift Autos as well for hooking us up with this amazing car for a little drive. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you think of the BMW 535i. And I'll catch you in the next one.